This is Aries0083 with another video review. <laughs> this is um, the high grade 1 slash 144th scale Gundam Virtue. The, the model kit is way better than the first grade that I built. Most of the pieces already come molded in their, in their color. An example is um, while I had to paint this on the first grade, uh, this came in that cast in this color with a few stickers to boot. See, there's a sticker here. Also, one of the cool parts is that I had to sloppily paint this white while this one came cast in white. But enough about the first grade. Enough about that. <laughs> this figure is um this model kit is as articulate as a figure. I do have the um Gundam Virtue figure and I'll be reviewing that and I'll compare it with this. But let's just take a look. All right, um, articulation at the legs, the skirt armor is connected. It's one piece, so both parts move together. The legs could bend up and bend at the knee. Also, oh, the knee has two joints but because the leg armor is so thick and the back skirt armor is there it doesn't go any farther than that this purple here is a sticker on this kit I decided to use stickers mostly because I painted the first grade kit so I decided let me use stickers on this the arms, there's a wrist articulation, it's a ball joint, and the elbows just bend that much, wait, I think, yep, that's, that's as much as the elbow will bend, the shoulder armor can move, um, this part can move forward and back, and the shoulder armor can move down and up as well as the arm and this kit has waist articulation the 1100 kit I don't think has any waist articulation but hey I don't have it so but I've heard that the 1100 Gundam 00 kits don't have waist articulation, at least with the Cherudium Gundam or Cherudum Gundam. Backpack is well built. Could bend up like that, and these rotate. One of the coolest things about this kit is this. You could see the GN drive. There was a sticker for it, but I decided to go against it, and I just painted, painted it green. I'm not gonna zoom in because it'll get all blurry and stuff. But I'll take pictures later. So I painted every GN part green, which looks kind of cool. Even the part on the head, I painted green. The only one problem with this kit is this tends to come off easily, and uh, and the V fin also. One cool thing is that these fold in, which is nice. Alright, let me show off its weapons. 
and it's different modes. So you can arm the see <clears throat> the GN cannons by bringing these up and turning these forward and there's a little tab underneath which you can pull out the guns the cannons great So you just bring the cans up and around. So those are the GN cannons. It also comes with a GN bazooka. Which is right here. <clears throat> You're supposed to paint this part and this part yellow so that it matches, but I decided to leave it like that plain since I didn't want to paint this kit. These, they come back so that when the GN bazooka connects to the GN drive, uh, the Virtue can hold both parts like that. But this also slides and you can also detach they move up and down like this but you can also detach them the handles and put there's a slot down here and you could put that there the one the first grade kit it's a GN bazooka. I had one of the handles down like this. This doesn't move. And another one's cast to the side. This doesn't move. It's sculpted like that. But you had to connect it. So basically, you can recreate the same thing. This moves. I think you can have the kit hold it. I think you can have it, it hold the bazooka. And for burst mode, this comes down. Let's see. Down and forward. And these come out. The bad thing is that you have to pull them out with your fingers. The beam sabers come with um, the blade. It's um, cast in translucent pink plastic and the blade comes off the handles. You can store the handles inside the legs. See, like that. Um, hmm. yeah. Oh, so I forgot. These come off. And there's a little handle here. Handle here. This ball, I don't think is supposed to come off. <laughs> but these come off. And you can have the, the Virtue hold the GN cannons in its hands. I think this is for the for the Nautile. If you get the Nautile kit you could give her the GN cannons and she can shoot.
Overall, I'm very impressed with this kit. It's turned out way better than the first grade kit. And I'm thinking of getting maybe more of these, like the Exia and the Dynamis. But, I prefer action figures because even though this is a, a nice looking kit and it's almost like an action figure, it's still a model kit and parts of it can come apart and get lost at least with a with an action figure it's more sturdy it's it's an action figure is made so that it could take a lot of rough play not this model kit alright guys thanks for watching see ya